All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this Scan Tool Network video. In this uh, latest video, we have the uh, Autel MK808 MaxiCom kit. I'm wearing a BMW Countryman with a check engine light showing, so it's just a real quick demonstration of this particular kit. On a, uh, This is a 2020 vehicle, but it works on a lot of other makes and models and also model years as well. Uh, so I'm going to click into, you can see we've got the check engine light there. First of all, actually, before I get into the video, I just want to say that um, we'll put the link to this kit in in the description below this video make sure you use those links because that will take you to the genuine and official product there are fakes there are clones out there uh, unfortunately they can cause damage to your vehicle so make sure you use the links in the description and that will take you to the genuine product so we're going to click on to diagnostics here to touch screen a uh, piece of kit and we'll go to mini obviously so select your specific vehicle So we're going to go to manual selection, we're going to go to mini, and we're going to go to mini F60. I believe it's an F60. It's either, I always get mixed up, it's either an F60 or an R60. Uh, mini F60, model year 2020, 11, which was November build. So we'll click yes to that. So it's going to go to reading controller. If you're doing this with the engine on, what it'll do is it'll automatically turn the engine off and it'll put the ignition stage back on, but in this case, it, it doesn't need to do that because we're, we're just at the ignition stage. So we'll go to diagnosis, go to control unit. We know we wanna diagnose the engine fault, so that's in the drive option. So click on drive, click on DME, uh, engine, digital, motor, electronics, and it's gonna give us the option to read the fault codes. So, um, establishing vehicle communication, and it's giving us here 102613, Intermittent fault HFM uh, hot film air mass meter, which is also known as the math uh, signal sh sh circuit short to battery plus. So that's the fault code that we've been getting for this one now. In actual fact, we already knew this was a fault. Um, we've changed the mass airflow sensor, but we're still getting the check engine light. That's because we need to use this tool and go into the erase codes option. So if I go to erase codes, It'll tell us uh, DTCs and freeze data will be deleted. Are you sure you wish to continue? Click yes to that. That's telling us rejected for some reason. Let me just... Because it can have a lot to do with the actual setup of the vehicle as to why it might not allow you to erase the codes. So if I go erase codes now, I've just put it to the um, stage of ignition again go back go to there All right let's see if it'll read codes in this section here okay it will go to erase codes yes error rejected that's very strange i'm going to go to a different section it could be the newness of the vehicle but it's giving us the option to diagnose it so um it shouldn't be a problem. What I will do is go to come out of all of this and we'll just go to the OBD2 option or the check engine option. This is generally a quick way to actually find engine faults in a vehicle and erase them. But we, we have put the we have fixed the fault, we put a new mass airflow sensor back in. So it shouldn't really be causing a problem. Click OK, if we go to um DTCs. So there it's giving us the same fault, but this is a generic fault. Obviously the fault that we were getting previously was um, a manufacturer specific, so we come out of that. Oh, in fact, actually go back in. Did that give us the option to erase the fault codes? Ah, clear DTC. So we try it on this particular section. So trouble codes, no trouble codes de detected. So that probably means that it has cleared them. Check engine light is still on, but if we start the engine, and if the check engine light goes off, then we know it's done the job. Yeah, it's gone off. So we know it's done the job. Um, sometimes, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work in the when going through the diagnostics menu, uh, like if it doesn't work if you're going into this menu here, 
then you can if it doesn't work by selecting your specific vehicle then you can do it by selecting the EOBD instead um, but ultimately we got there in the end thanks to the MK80 so I will put the link to this in the description below this video and um, yeah make sure you use the links because there are fakes there are clones but this is a genuine product thanks for watching and I hope this helps